Okay guys, so in this video I want to talk about uh, bilinear forms and we're going to talk about bilinear forms and some vector space view. So we have bilinear uh, forms uh, on B. So what is the idea of a bilinear form? Uh, in my previous video I talked about the linear functional, so the linear form is something different, but uh, something, sorry, something similar, but instead of taking one element in your vector space, we're going to take two elements. So basically we're going to take a pair of vectors v and w and for this pair of vectors v and w we're going to assign uh, like some number and that number we're going to call it let's say v of v and w. Uh, so in other words v is going to be a my bilinear form where v is going to be the map from v cross v uh, into r. So uh, that map is going to have a couple of properties. That first, uh, it's called a like bilinear, so it's, it behaves similarly as a linear map, where each of these component is going to be linear. So let me just write, for example, the property for the first component. So that means that v of v1 plus v2 w is going to be equal to v of v1 w plus v of v2 w. And the same uh, for the second component. And another property for the first component is going to be that if I'm going to take uh, some constant B, C, uh, V times W, then that is going to be equal to my constant times my bilinear for, form V, W. Uh, that's why it's called bilinear. Okay, so uh, these forms are really important because a lot of really cool theory uh, that I'm going to talk about like next videos and uh, cool objects can be constructed using these forms. Uh, but I want to discuss a couple of properties. So the first property that we can have a uh, symmetric bilinear form. And symmetric bilinear form is going to be the form such that uh, we're going to have B V W is equal to B, W, V. Uh, and this is for any uh, vectors V and W in a vector space. So in other words, that means uh, it doesn't, I can take my vectors, my inputs, and just interchange them, and the output for my form is not going to change. Uh, the second property that my form can have, it can be like skew symmetric. And skew symmetric means that I'm going to interchange my form so I'm going to have B V of W interchange B W of V. But the thing what is going to happen, the minus sign is going to show up. Uh, and here we have one really cool important property that if you're going to take this form and overlay it on the vector itself, then it's going to be equal to zero. And the reason why is because if I'm going to take just my original vector and just interchange it, then on the left I'm going to have B V V. On the right, I'm also going to have uh, minus B of V and V. So if I'm going to move this term to the left, I'm going to obtain 2 B of V and V is equal to 0. And since I work in real numbers, 2 is invertible, we're going to cancel out 2, so B of V and V is equal to 0. Okay. Uh, so we have symmetric, skew symmetric uh, form. The next important property that we're going to have that our form is going to be uh, like uh, non-degenerate or first should we talk about degenerate uh, let me think yeah let's talk about non-degenerate non-degenerate so what does it mean that non-degenerate that means i'm going to take some vector v which is non uh, i'm going to take some vector v in my vector space and then uh, I'm going to take my form, plug in my vector v, and I'm going to have one really important assumption that every time I'm going to take a vector w from a vector space, I'm going to get zero. So in other words, my form, my form is always going to vanish on v. So when that is going to be true, then from here, if my form is not degenerate, that means the vector that we chose originally must be zero. So from here follows v must be zero and then from uh, from third property we can conclude what is going to be my three prime 
So three prime is going to be if my firm is going to be degenerate. So we're going to take end of the negation of this statement. It means there's going to be exist some than zero vector v, and there is exist some than zero vector w in my vector space v, such that if I'm going to take my form and evaluate on v and w, I'm going to get that my form is non-zero. Uh, sorry, that my form is zero. So in other words, in other words, my form is going to be degenerate if I can find two non-zero vectors such that my bilinear form is going to be zero on those two vectors. Okay, and that's going to be like a good short introduction to the definition of what is a bilinear form uh, that is like linear in each component and three properties, like four, like three properties of my bilinear form. Uh, and then in my next video, I'm going to give uh, some examples of symmetric, squisymmetric, uh, non degenerate, degenerate bilinear forms. Okay, guys, thank you for watching. If you're not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and have a nice day.